Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. On June 20th, a content creator named Yella shared a post on Instagram detailing an alleged relationship between him and Yen, beginning after the idol accepted his friend request. In his post he said, All the pain from the past few years. I'm planning on letting it all out today. I still remember, back then, you used your private account to argue with Nick Chu in the comment section of a news article, but accidentally exposed your real identity. My curiosity for you, and for celebrities in general, got me sending you a friend request. Unexpectedly, you accepted. From then on, we chatted and you invited me to come over to your place to watch Netflix. I was wondering if I was dreaming to be talking to a famous idol, a celebrity I liked since I was young, and to be taking it a step further. He then shares that, at the time, he had just turned 16 years old and was living alone while Yan was 31. Yala then states he had sex for the first time with Yan, who he accuses of raping him while he was sleeping. Yala then says, Yen allegedly recorded them having sex without his permission. He also claims he received calls from Yan's other partners and says the star denied cheating until they broke up the next year. In 2018, Yala claims a sex tape of the two was leaked, resulting in his expulsion from school, while Yan did very little to help the situation. He also said that not only did my work all seem to have stopped suddenly, but my life was ruined entirely. But you told me you did your best to handle it. You gave me a few thousand dollars for lawyer fees and a few thousand dollars for myself. And that was it. Yan was previously accused of cheating on multiple partners. And Yala claims he came to his defense even though the information was allegedly true. He finishes the statement by reflecting on why he decided to reveal this at this time and his hopes that Yen would have to face the public over his actions. Aaron Yen responded to the post with a letter, seemingly admitting to things Yella said, including that they dated while he was a minor. Yen offered to apologize to the content creator again and make amends for everything that happened. Following his bombshell hashtag me to revelation, content creator Yella held a press conference to further address the situation, where Aaron Yan also showed up unannounced, surprising all. Following Yan's appearance, Yella exposed more information about the relationship between the two, detailing his rape and the illegal filming he alleged according to Yao's allegations. The first time he was raped was in 2018. I thought this was normal for relationships between adults who have turned 18, and I just didn't understand it because I was still young, so I kept trying to convince myself and rationalize what happened. He then details Yun recording their sexual activities without his permission. Finally, he addresses Yan's claims of the relationship being fully consensual, saying that he shared previous conversations with Yan on Instagram in 2018 to prove his innocence. Yala says that Yan's claims are nonsense and that he was raped. However, Aaron Yen addressed Yola, the press, and the public and denied all the claims being made against him. To Yala, Aaron Yen was apologetic. Aaron Yen bowed to Yala as he assured Yala that he won't interfere with the press conference. To the reporters at the press conference, though, Aaron Yen was firm in claiming that all was consensual. Meanwhile, Yala criticized Aaron Yen for apologizing too late, as well as for trying to mislead the public. Yala also revealed that, after the hashtag me to pose, Aaron Yin tried to get in touch. Needing time and space, Yala did not answer. Upon coming across Aaron Yan's response that followed, though, Yala decided to stand up for himself. Some Chinese netizens calling him fake, and he appears as a celebrity to attract the attention of the media, even if he makes an apology. It is essentially a deprivation of the victim's right to speak. If you're really sorry, let him finish. If you really want to appear on his occasion, please ask for his permission first. Other netizens said, This so-called apology not just be verbal and eloquent words. The real apology is to put yourself in the place of repentance and makeup, not to make the other party shut up as soon as possible.